This is one of the most used ingredients in the world, garlic. It pairs up perfectly with almost everything, especially meat. Now there are several different variations of this ingredient. One of them would be this, black garlic. Believe it or not, it is the same exact thing. The only difference is, is that this one has been fermented for quite some time. Luckily nowadays you can just buy it already pre-made. Now at the power of these both ingredients, my question is, which one would be better to dry age steaks with? Well, we are about to find out right now. As for today's cook, I chose this beautiful three bone rib roast. And to keep this experiment consistent, I'm going to be cutting three different steaks from it. That way there will be no variation between meats. At the same time, one I'll be using as a control. The only variable will be fresh garlic and black garlic. To use the black garlic is pretty simple. I threw everything into a food processor, add a little bit of water and blend it on high. As in the end, I was left with a nice paste. If you don't add water, everything will be way too sticky. Because the next thing to do is to go ahead and cover the whole whole thing with it. This step is quite crucial. The more, the better. The whole goal here is to ensure that every single edge of the steak is fully covered with it. Because once I was done, take a look. This is now ready to be dry aged. For the fresh garlic, it is the same exact process. I just threw the fresh garlic into the food processor, added a little bit of water, blend everything on high, and I had a paste ready. When you put them side by side, you can really tell the differences. Spreading it through the steak is no problem whatsoever. I will say this, fresh garlic is actually harder than black garlic to spread. But once I was done, I immediately transferred everything to a cooling rack, as the next thing to do is to see if the garlic is going to make a huge difference or not. Hopefully, it's going to make the steak better. However, garlic can be a very tricky ingredient to work with. And to explain more, I got the perfect guy. This is Dr. Bernard. Garlic is an interesting ingredient. Inside soil, there's a bacteria called Clostridium botulinum. Sometimes that bacteria is on the clove, but there isn't enough of it to actually cause any problems. It's when the garlic clove is put in an environment where that bacteria can then replicate in mass. What happens then is that bacteria, depending on the conditions that it's in, can then start to make a toxin. And that toxin Toxin is then what causes what we know as botulism. Botulism is a disease that's caused by something called a neurotoxin. So it does impact the brain. And in fact, it's one of the most potent toxins that we know of in nature, meaning that very small amounts can get people very sick. If the garlic is sitting in a plate by itself outside, it should be fine. It won't really grow any more bacteria on it. With that said, Clostridium botulinum can be found on the surface of very many different vegetables, but it's usually okay because there isn't enough of it to cause any problems at all. Guga's experiment used regular garlic and black garlic, and black garlic is fermented. And when you do that, remember the conditions that can then grow a lot of Clostridium botulinum bacteria could be pushed forward by that fermentation process. And Guga likes to push boundaries, I know that. However, I think with how he prepared it, I think we should be good. But there's always a chance something can go wrong. Once the dry aging process was done, this is what I was left with. You can clearly see that there's a huge difference. After all that explanation, it got me a little worried. Because take a look at the black garlic. This thing is pitch black. But just like every dry age experiment, the next thing to do is to go ahead and try to remove it all out. And this one became a rock. I did as much as I could to try to remove it. It was not possible. So I had to go ahead and cut it out. And as soon as I did, take a look. You can clearly see how much penetration we had in the meat. So I went ahead and continued slicing through the pellicle. And as I did, look, it is completely oxidized. So I know for a fact that this will have a very strong and powerful taste. Hopefully it's going to be something good and not bad. The fresh garlic on the other hand, take a look. As expected, the garlic is completely dry, but removing it, it was no problem at all. And once I was done, this is what I was left with. 100% oxidation. The garlic even left some indentations on it. Even though this was the fresh garlic, it is not looking good. And just like the previous one, I had to go ahead and remove all of the pellicles. And don't forget, I also have a control one. Because once I was done removing all of the pellicles, here we have all three steaks. There is a good amount of oxidation in almost all of them. At this stage, the smell is very powerful. At the same time, Dr. Bernard has scared all of us, including me. Now the big question is, do you think he'll take a chance and eat the steaks? I flew halfway across this country to have a Guga steak. Worst case, I end up as a patient in my own video. Best case, I have a delicious piece of meat. So yes, I am ready to have a Guga steak. 
if something goes south, at least we got a doctor in the house. Now to season these steaks, I kept it real simple. I only went with salt and pepper, nothing else. Keeping it simple will really let us know if the steak is going to be good or bad. But just in case things does not turn out the way I want it, I went ahead and made an awesome side dish for us today. And this one is as easy as it gets. To make it, it's very simple and you might already have all of the ingredients. The first thing we need is cheese. You can literally choose any kind you like. I went with what I had in my refrigerator, which was mozzarella, cream cheese, and parmesan. All we have to do is to combine all of them in the bowl, mix everything well, and now we have our cheese mix. Next up is fresh garlic. Since this is a garlic experiment, I went ahead and added a good amount. Mix everything a little bit more, and my filling is now ready. For the dough, I wanted something super simple, so I went with pre-made dough that you can find it in any supermarket. Open up the package, spread it all out, add my filling right in the middle, and just like a Cinnabon, rolled everything up. So I cut it in small pieces, and instead of this being a Cinnabon, it's gonna be a garlic melted cheese bread bun. Next step is to go ahead and add some butter into a pan, throw in all of the garlic breads inside, add a little bit more butter, and into the oven it goes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until it's golden brown. When it's done, it should be looking like this. Now to finish it off, I went ahead and melted some butter with garlic, a good amount. Then I combined it with some parsley. As now, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and spread it on top of that beautiful bread, and and today's side dish is done. I could tell you one thing, this will please everyone. However, we have no idea what's about to happen with our steaks. Talking about that, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them. First, I'll be putting a nice, wonderful sear. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until it reaches an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'll be using my wireless thermometers. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill this beautiful steak. So let's do it. everybody here we got our beautiful steaks nice side dish dr bernard thanks for being here brother thank you so much for having me of course uh, this is a landmark event for me ah let's go <laughs> hopefully it's not going to be disappointing how could it be so we got a little experiment going on give them an honest opinion i want to know if it is good bad or ugly we're going to go this direction since you're our guest please you dig in first cheers everybody cheers mm. This is what I came here for. <laughs> wow. Luga, I'm a regular viewer. Mm. Been a regular viewer for years. This is amazing. Thank you, brother. How would you describe a Guga steak for someone that never had it? When it touches just the tip of your tongue all of a sudden, there's just flavor everywhere. And then you swallow it and you think, oh, I want another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best description someone I've ever gave. <laughs> so I'm glad you enjoyed it. So this is our control. This is either gonna go up from here or straight south. I'm gonna make sure to savor this one because by the sound of it, we might be going down from here, guys. So we all enjoyed the first steak, but now I'm ready for the second one. You guys ready? Oh yeah. All right, please dig in. You smell something different? There's a garlic odor to it. Mmm, there is. Yeah. Mm, are you sure you're not just it's smelling not. the side dish? It smells like the side dish. <laughs> the real test is, how does it taste? Hold on, nobody move. I'm gonna get you. Let's go! Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Very bold flavor right here. I feel like Powerful. I've died and punched a one-way ticket to steak heaven right here. Wow, that is incredible. It's so much more savory. Oh man, the garlic flavor is like blasted right in your face. As you take each individual bite, it's kind of infused inside of the steak. I love how the flavor still stays in your mouth. Even after you swallow the steak, it's like almost like the juices of the steak coat your mouth and you're left with that delicious garlic flavor that has you wanting to go for more. Is it better than the control for you, which one do you like better? I think it would depend on what I'm in the mood for mm. that night. This one is delicious. For a more specialized taste, definitely go with this one. Great way of putting it. <laughs> you? I like this one more. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we say it like it is, baby. <laughs> I love garlic, so yeah, I like the garlic quite a bit. Talking about garlic, let's try the side dish, yeah? So the idea here is, you know, everybody had Cinnabons, right? This is Cinnabons, but savory. With just a little bit of butter, everybody. Add some butter into a pan. Add a little bit more butter. I went ahead and melted some butter with garlic. A good amount. More butter, more better. Well, let's give it a try. Let me know in your honest opinion. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Whoa, there's no way that that's gonna be bad, everybody. Everyone will enjoy this, even the vegans. The vegans. The vegans, the vegans, the vegans. I was not expecting that bread to be so soft. It Super soft. Almost melts in your mouth as soon as you taste it. There's a crunchy part on the top that has so much flavor. Mm -hmm. You bite into it, you can tell there's butter coming out of it and it just coats your tongue. There's layers of pastry, garlic, butter. Incredible side dish, wow. I gotta say though, be real careful because even though it's calorie free and fat free, you should just eat one of it. Damn, now you're making me feel guilty about eating this. Very delicious, easy to make, highly recommend. Enough about the side dish let's go on the last one please dig in cheers cheers whoa 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 oh my lord that is powerful we're not having an experience the moment it touched my tongue i yeah. could feel a, a little tinkle in my cheek in a good way or in a bad way it's good it's good it's really good really really good that last steak that we tried is a great combination of beef flavor with that tender steak some charcoal flavor as well got a little bit of sweetness to it too out of this world wow. really good can you tell which one this is this has to be the black garlic that's right so this is black garlic dry aged steak leo you don't have oh. to freak out leo okay you're, Chill you're out, getting me bro. scared we got a doctor on set you're making it sound like oh i don't know what's gonna happen with this experiment so we got black garlic regular garlic and control which one is your favorite that one sounds like that black garlic is my favorite wow how about you i would go with the black garlic wow the black garlic is the winner guys make sure you guys go check out bernard's channel everything will be on the link on the description down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that thumbs up if you're not a subscriber be sure to subscribe remember everything i use is always on the description down below thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one take care everybody bye bye